My name is Mike Myler. I'm a maker of RPG books, and today we're going to talk about Miss of Akuma. Specifically, we're going to talk about three Miss of Akuma adventures. First is the Ice Sovereign of Storms. These are all for 5th edition D&D set in uh, Miss of Akuma, which is an Eastern fantasy noir steampunk campaign setting that I publish with Storm Bunny Studios. So anyway, let's get to it. This one is for 4 to 5 PCs, 7th uh, to 8th level, and they run into a Bengoshi that cajoles them into doing some crazy stuff to get their way to the secret city of Sukisasu, a place ruled over and inhabited by Oni. Although it's all kinds of crazy, because this guy named Obi Mishida, the Ice Sovereign of Storms, has taken over Yona's fortress, and uh, things are just kind of, kind of chaotic. They can hide in one particular place called H's Machine Shop, although these three traps will try to stop them. And there are many different other locations in Tsukisasu. They roll around to figure out what's going on. Eventually, they confront Obi Mashita here in Yona's fortress. And then, of course, afterwards, like any good Miss of Akuma story, there is something that tries to screw them, specifically the katana of Rizushi Kentaro. Next up, we got Fangs of Revenge. This I wrote because after uh, the core book was done and the guy that got me into D&D wrote the... Revenge of the Pale Master, I was like, oh man, I really want to do a mystery intrigue adventure. So, you get into this thinking that you're going to go and do some union busting in the town of Saman, which has, as you can see, railroads. Because they've got some, um, like, some union starting called the Fangs. Although what you find out as you go through this intrigue-laden tale is that the Fangs might be a little bit more than just railroad workers. So, it's this great, awesome, awesome mystery set in the city. It goes on for pages. You have this big encounter in Shujian Gardens, and then another big encounter in the basement of the Tezuki Rail. And uh, yeah, I don't know it's it's pretty dope. You will be surprised. Your players will definitely be surprised. And if you're looking for some ninja action, you will be hard pressed to find more. And then we got the Cursed Soul of the Scorpion Samurai, which is my favorite for story purposes. Uh, I don't want to give too much away. You can read the whole the whole story, but this is about this guy that has a terrible fall from grace. You're hired by a Bangoshi to capture him, but first you've got to go meet the Bangoshi clandestinely, which means crossing Hidorite Pass, beautifully mapped by yours truly here, uh, a place protected by some some nasties. <coughs> and then you get to Kakasu. Uh, there's a little bit of a mystery involved finding place or person called the Fumi Yakutana, and uh, yeah, beautifully beautifully illustrated there, because you have to fend off an attack by the Miss Fukuma. Uh, and then you finally meet the Ben Goshi, uh, and are attacked shortly afterward, whenever uh, you are traveling through the woods away, and towards Shinjitsu, where the actual trap for the Scorpion Samurai is set, although you will find that uh, truly the trap is set by him, not for him. Oh, ho, ho. but yes, uh, it's a it's a wonderful adventure. As are these other two; they are all available in PDF and print. And uh, check them out. The previews are very large, so you can definitely get an idea what you're going to get. And uh, I'm very confident you will enjoy them. Please leave us reviews and feedback. We love to hear them, even if you don't like the book. And uh, I'm pretty sure you will. So. Thank you very much for watching the video. Check them out. Have a wonderful day and roll high.